ornithischians. These guys, also known as the bird-hipped dinosaurs, were entirely herbivorous and developed interesting strategies for feeding and defense. Stegosaurus, for example, developed a distinctive double row of plates along its back, likely for display or thermoregulation, and a spiked tail to defend itself from predators. The first examples of armored dinosaurs were also part of the ornithischians group, like the earliest ancestors of the later ankylosaurs, which had bony plates for protection. Around this time, the seas were dominated by plesiosaurs and pliosaurs, while the skies were ruled by pterosaurs, which diversified greatly, ranging from the long-tailed Ramphorhynchus to the short-tailed Pterodactylus. Mammals, on the other hand, remained marginal just like in the Triassic period, being mostly nocturnal and insectivorous. However, around 145 million years ago, another significant ecological transition occurred. This wasn't as brutal as the previous mass extinction events, but it did bring about substantial change, likely due to rising sea levels, environmental shifts, climate fluctuations, and the continued drifting apart of Pangaea, the world transformed. Many iconic Jurassic dinosaur groups, like stegosaurs and certain large sauropod lineages, declined or went extinct. This marked the beginning of a new era, 